The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, let's just get into the nitty gritty because we don't have time to waste. I have things I gotta do. I'm watching the Marlins play right now. We got Dominique Trap Francis fighting in a matter of just hours on Telemundo. So, Dea Benavidez, he's, he's channeled, Dea Benavidez has channeled his inner Adrian Broner and he has lost his title on the scale after missing weight by nearly three pounds in his upcoming fight against Romero Angulo. And you know, I find this very interesting because with Benavidez, there's been a lot of talk this week about every other freaking fight but the one that's in front of him. I've heard talks about the Caleb Plant fight, I've heard talks about Canelo, Callum Smith, all these other people in the division, but he's not focusing on the guy that's in front of him. And if you guys, don't remember, I, I said a while ago, I said, look, Romero Angulo, if, if, if he's gonna do anything else for this fight, he's gonna train hard, he's gonna train to win. And, 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 and while Benavides is more talented than, in him, than him, while on paper it says Dave Benavides should probably blow out Romero Angulo, um, in boxing you can never overlook any opponent, any opponent, and this is a classic trap fight for him. And, and, and my, my, my thoughts and my opinions and my perspectives on this fight have been validated by him coming in overweight because what, 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 what that shows me is it shows me a lack of discipline, it shows me a lack of focus, it shows me a lack of commitment to what's in front of him, you know? It's like Flamengo that said, you put him in front of me, I beat him. You can never overlook any opponent in boxing. And um, this this is going to have a ripple effect on David Benavidez and his reputation whether he wins or loses against Angulo because let's just be real, you know, this is Benavidez who already had a lot of people um, honest case and, 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 and kind of wagging their finger at him because of the whole cocaine thing. Now you're losing titles on the scales. I mean, let's, let's, let's be real guys. Like, look, I don't want, I don't want to put this kid down because I'm a, I like Benavides. I'm a fan. I love watching him fight. He brings a, a very fun style to the ring. I think he's must see TV every time, every, every time he steps in that ring. We call a spade a spade here on True School Sports. David Benavides is starting to resemble the Mexican Adrian Broner, the Mexican Javante Davis. There's no two ways about it. This is a guy that has all the ability in the world. This is a guy that has the world at his fingertips. This is a guy that is one of the most talented and gifted prospects boxing has seen in quite some time. But this is also a guy who has shown a serious lack of discipline in regards to the sport. And I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, before this news came out, I really wasn't worried about David Benavides. I thought, okay, he's gonna go in there. Romero and Google will be tough, will be durable, will be game. But he, he, should get him out, he should get him out of there around Round seven, round eight, round nine. Now I still think he'll be. A, I still think he's going to come out victorious against Romero Angulo, but I think this fight winds up being a lot more tougher than we initially expected. And on top of that, forget the short term. Let's look at the long term, the big picture. His reputation. His reputation is is going to take a hit. It's going to take a massive hit. People are not going to look at Dia Benavides the same way anymore. People are going to look at him the same way they look at Adrian Broner and and, and Javante Davis. And these other fighters who, who are just pissing away their careers. So it's very interesting, you know. I, I've, I've had many conversations with people in boxing about Dia Benavidez. I've had conversations with people where they tell me that Dia Benavidez is going to be Caleb Plan and he's going to do this and he's going to do that. And, and my, my answer has always been consistent. consistent. First of all, he's not, he, he's too flat footed and basic to find Caleb Plan in that ring. But now when you add in the fact that he's undisciplined, that he's out here channeling his inner Adrian Broner, there's no way he's being Caleb Plant. And honestly, like, does that fight even have the same like luster that it used to have? Like, do, do people even care about that fight as much as they used to if, if Benavidez does have a title? I mean, I'm not so sure. I, I, I'll, I would still like to see it, but there really isn't um, as much of a point for it to happen when Caleb Plant can go unified titles with, you know, Callum Smith or whatever, but... Um, I'm just very disappointed in Benavides because uh, he was always the guy that even though he had his issues with cocaine and whatnot, he showed me as a guy that was very dedicated, very disciplined to his craft and, and was never going to miss the weight. So um, it's either one of two things, either A, he's outgrown the weight and he really needs to move up or B, he's really he really is what we think he is. He's undedicated. Um, so I'll leave that up for you guys. Interpretation, we'll, we'll be live for that fight tomorrow, but just highly disappointing. And I really think I'm, I'm starting to worry for him. I'm really starting to think, you know, Romero and Gulo, um, that this fight might 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 be how I thought it was. Might be just as tough as I thought it was going to be initially be, um, between the two. So 
That's what it is. You know, Benavides had a series of quotes. He's talking about how he's disappointed, but he has got a job to do tomorrow, and he's and he puts the blame on himself, and you know, he says the last three pounds just wouldn't come off, and they didn't have the proper things like the sauna and this, that, and the third. But honestly, when it comes to, to boxing, when it comes to you know losing weight, this is your profession. This is your job. You know, you're, you're a world class, world championship professional fighter. So we don't want to hear any excuses. You know, Romero Angulo, Romero, Romero Angulo's in his 30s, champ. He's in his 30s, and he's probably got less money than you. He ain't been in no big time fights. How come he can make the weight, but you can't make the weight? Like, what, what's the issue? We don't want to hear no excuses. So, um, I'll be very interested to see what happens with David Benavidez tomorrow um, in the ring against Angulo. I still fully expect him to win. I just think, I think ultimately it winds up being a tougher fight than it had to be. So, uh, yeah. You guys let me know what you think. Dave Benavidez channels his inner Adrian Broner, loses his title on the scale. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Take the time to subscribe, but like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes.